One of the counties directly impacted was Cameron County, where cleanup crews are working around the clock, picking up debris left behind. And CBS 4 Sandra Garcia is live in Santa Rosa with how they're trying to curb illegal dumping. Sandra. And keeping the streets and ditches clear is key for these crews, and the county wants residents to know they need their help in doing so. It is a health hazard. The flooding left behind much more than just standing water. We're averaging about anywhere between 50 to 60 tons of debris a day uh, that we've been disposing of. And with debris comes the threat of illegal dumping. Some people may get upset, you know, and say, oh, it's been out here too long, and they'll take it into their own hands and dispose of it. That's where sometimes we get illegal dumping. Cameron County crews have been working nonstop to help clear out everything, including old furniture and housing materials. We've already cleaned up a lot of the county area. Uh, they're going ready to do a second pass. Uh, the cities of Palm Valley and Primera have already been to a first round. And uh, we're just going to continue going as long as we can to be able to pick this uh, this debris up. And local law enforcement encourages everyone to clean up the right way so they won't end up with a hefty fine. If you throw out trash, what do you think is going to increase? What do you think is going to create rats, mice, any other kind of a infectious disease? Sheriff Lucio says if you're a witness to illegal dumping, you should report it. A lot of people did suffer a lot of damage in their, in their house, and they don't want to have it in front of their house, but they should leave it there, and then they call the county commissioners, and as soon as they have a chance, they'll send a truck by there with the people. And call the county if you need trash picked up. And it says paying a fine and embarrassment. Depending on the weight of the trash dumped illegally, you could face anywhere from a misdemeanor to a felony charge and a fine up to $10,000. Live in Santa Rosa with Complete Valley coverage, Sandra Garcia, CBS4 Valley at 6.